It's a stressful time under normal circumstances. Expectant mothers getting ready to deliver their babies. So as you can imagine, doing that right now raises concerns exponentially. And some families considering home births as a result while hospitals are making changes as well. Channel 2's Hannah McKenzie is live tonight with the challenges growing families are facing. Hannah. Keith, Dominique, the question used to be what to expect when you're expecting. Now, it's what to expect when you're expecting amid a global pandemic. And the answer to that question has some women changing their entire birth plans. It wasn't her original so plan. They're going to bring in a blow up pool, basically. And um, it's going to be most likely right here. Brandy Karcher now preparing for a home birth. With all the extra stress going on right now, um, it's more, I guess, relaxing being in your own home instead of like an environment that you don't really understand or know. She's not the only expectant mother opting to skip the delivery room during the global pandemic. I think probably double the calls. Like double, double. double. <laughs> yeah. Calls and emails. Yeah. They doubled for sure. Midwives Ashley Kowalski and Megan Robinson staying busy fielding inquiries from prospective new clients. Are they afraid to go out of their house. They um, they're they're afraid to do anything. So it's it's kind of like it's caused a lot of fear. The duo from Yellow Rose Midwifery Group has delivered about 150 babies between the two of them. Three percent or less of uh, babies born in Texas are through midwives. Period. That's birth center and home birth. They expect that number to rise, but add not everyone's a candidate for home birth. Enter the traditional method with doctors like Sean Blackwell. Right now, most hospitals are allowing one visitor to labor delivery. Limiting foot traffic, wearing masks and goggles. Blackwell says hospitals are taking extra precautions to safeguard mothers and newborns. We're really trying to over communicate as much as we can to get people as ready for a different situation. Right now, hospitals are encouraging folks to utilize FaceTime and video chat while they're limited to one visitor per patient, and that does include all of those women who have just given birth. Reporting live from the Medical Center, Hannah McKenzie, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Hannah, thank you.